Hey everyone, my name is Daniel, Indie Game Dev, living in Germany. I'm working on a shoot 'em up roguelike called Osor for around three and a half months. And today I want to share with you the progress I made in the past three weeks. But first, a quick recap on what the project's main mechanics are and what the core idea is for all those that are new around here. The mechanics are mostly pretty basic. You can move in all four directions, you can shoot upwards and you can do a dash move. A more unique mechanic is the spell. Spells are special action pickups such as a power projectile shot, a massive power dash or a heal item. And a bit about the game's core. So my idea was a little roguelike as Enter the Gungeon, The Binding of Isaac and many other great titles of the genre and mixed with the classic shoot 'em up games. I also want to put a tiny bit of story in there someday, but I haven't fully decided how I handle that. If you want to dive more deeply into the development of Osor, check out the rest of the devlog series. But now, let's jump into the new stuff. After uploading the last devlog, I started out making the base form of the fourth and final area called ominous hollow. To get this hollow feeling I decided on this grey color with some very subtle purple here and there. After I decided on the look of the area, I came up with some nice monsters to place there. When coming up with enemies, I always keep in mind that an enemy fits in with the design of the area. And for ominous hollow, I wanted to get some bullet hell feelings. So let me present to you the left soul faces the player and shoots out two bullets towards the player. Then I created Magneso. It has two magnetic bullets flying around itself and it can let the two bullets fly further away or closer to itself. Another one is the Sightmare, which sits on the walls and shoots out projectiles in bursts from there. The last enemy I created is the Death Launcher. This doesn't move as well but it shoots out rockets that follow the player around. But I really didn't want to stop here with the dangers of the last area. To get some unique and new elements I didn't make normal enemies. I made obstacles like a knife or axe. The only differences between obstacles and normal enemies are the visuals and that obstacles can't die. So when I finished both obstacle types I designed chunks for the area. Then I jumped on to another big part of my time, the creation of two new bosses. I first created Murtha, which is a boss for the second area. As there is a lot of movement in the second area, I want to reflect that in the boss fight as well of course. So with keeping that in mind, I slowly but surely came to the final idea of the boss. Then I created the art for this boss and then I set it up everything. After that was done, I coded the basic movement for the boss, which I've done with movement spots instead of making it smoothly moving around. Now I finally started working on the attacks. For this I came up with this bad child spread out. The shards follow the player and they have a tiny bit of health. Then I also made this bullet pattern, which I actually really like. For the second stage of the boss fight, I simply added two spiky balls that patrol around the arena. To finish the boss's creation, I quickly made an intro sequence for this boss and then Murtha is finished. After that, I finally polished when a boss dies. So for that, I added a massive screen shake when the corpse the boss leaves is about to explode. Then when it explodes, I added a soft explosion sprite and some other particles. Luckily this was done pretty quickly, so I had enough time to create another boss. This time I created a boss for the third area of the game. Again I had a look at the design of the area and I really wanted to get the laser mechanic into the boss fight. So I again slowly planned out the fight and when I was done, I started with the art for the boss. You maybe already noticed that I tell you almost the same things as with the creation for Murtha. And that's because it's actually a very similar workflow for the creation of all bosses in my game. But back to the creation of this boss. I added first a shotgun attack and then a splitter bomb shot. 
Another really cool and unique attack is the spider send out, which I personally really like. And then I finally made the laser beam. For the second stage of the fight I simply let the boss perform the attacks with less waiting time in between. Then I only needed to add some final polish to the boss and then I made an introduction sequence for it. And I call it Aragus. And I was finished with this boss as well. Then I decided to play an almost complete run of the game as there are all levels connected with each other now. And I noticed that the game was way too long. So first I made all the levels shorter, which means there are now 7 instead of 13 chunks per level. And after doing this I playtested again and a single run still felt way too long. So I removed the 4th level of each area and now it feels pretty good to me. A tiny bit ago I also planned a new boss, but I haven't decided on it completely and I haven't started working on it actually. The next weeks I will probably just keep adding content like spells or enemies, but I will really focus on adding missing sound effects, especially to the boss fights. Then if you want to see that progress on the game, subscribe and hit the bell to get notified when a new video from me comes out. Also you can join our new discord server with the link in the description. See you next time, cheers!